welcome to Biostock Studio. Today, we are joined by Jan Milsson, CEO at Convigene, and they have just released their first quarterly report of the year. Welcome. Thank you so much. And let's start with your candidate, CG01. Mm. There is not much information about this coming from your end right now. Why is that? That's correct. And we should remember that we actually licensed this product to Spark Therapeutics. And that's a global exclusive license, which uh, gives them the right to develop, manufacture, and commercialize CEO1. So it's actually their product. Having said that, we have a very good relation and cooperation with Spark. My team has uh, contact with them on a weekly basis. Uh, we have four joint research committee meetings a year. The next one coming up is actually the midsummer week here in Stockholm. So we will get a, a group of people from Spark coming. Uh, we will spend two days discussing uh, the current status and the immediate future for CDO1. So there is still a lot of activity there. A lot of activities going on. And of course, if there is any major milestone coming up, we will communicate that according to the rules of NASDAQ. And if we move on to the COSI program, what would you say were the main advances there during the last quarter? Uh, the first one was actually that we signed a deal with Sinero in January, uh, the cooperation deal with the Danish company Sinero. And then uh, we immediately established an organization to, to uh, develop the program. It's actually two molecules. Uh, it's uh, two projects, if you like. It's a peptide called COSI-01 and the AAV COSI-02. And uh, the project the director is actually Alva Grönberg in my group. Uh, so he will take care of that. Uh, we have also had our first joint steering committee meeting uh, where Alva presented the status and the way forward. And we have two major things coming up in the near future. And the first one being the selection of the CDMO. That's an acronym that actually behind that is a manufacturer of COSI-01, the peptide. And we, we need to find CDMO that can actually produce at GMP quality, i.e. the quality that's needed to go into human beings. And we are in the final stage of selecting that one. This is like a marriage the CDMO and the project will live together, together for the rest of the project life, I would say. The second one is actually uh, selecting this, uh, the, the company that would do the pivotal tox studies for us. And uh, that's also in the final stage. And the last thing I would like to mention is that we are preparing for the next stage, or the next tier, if you like, in the NIH program, which tests new drugs for, for pain. And I would also like to ask you about the National Institute of Health, who recently paid some attention to the COSI program. What would you say that this means for you? Well, that's the program I just referred to. And actually, the background is that the opioid crisis in the U.S. that has killed more than 700,000 Americans over the last 20 years. Given that background, the American authorities gave NIH, National Institute of Health, uh, they commissioned them to, to develop a program to find new drugs that are non-addictive for the treatment of chronic and acute pain. And NIH then uh, started, established a program called PSPP, preclinical uh, the platform, screening platform for, for pain. Uh, and we have been accepted, COSI-01, peptide, uh, into that program. So we have passed the first level out of three. Uh, we actually only submit uh, the peptide. Uh, the rest is paid for and, and done by NIH. And all the pr uh, data coming out, we will have access to and can use in the, in the uh, continuation of the program, actually. I see. And I think we should end this interview by uh, talking a little bit about your financial situation. What yeah. can you say about that? I think we are in, in a very good spot as a company. We have a very good team. We have an interesting portfolio. Uh, we have the deal with Spark, and we have, as you can see from our report, 120 million Swedish crowns in cash. Uh, so we are well, well, well equipped to continue our project with full speed ahead, and also set aside time and efforts to find new interesting candidates to in license. I see. It will be interesting to follow this. Thank you. And now we know a little bit more about Convigene and their various projects. 
Thank you so much for watching this interview and thank you for coming. Thank you so much.